In this video, we'll take a look at the all-new wizard in Pro Show 8. In Pro Show 8, the wizard has been updated with an all-new look and even more creative controls. Here in Part 1, we'll cover the basic tools you'll use to combine your photos, videos, text, and music into great-looking shows with just a few clicks. I'll be using Producer, but as you follow along, everything will be exactly the same in Pro Show Gold. To launch the wizard, when you first open ProShow, simply select the wizard option in the new slideshow window. Then click Create. Or, if you already have ProShow open, just click the wizard icon up here in the workspace toolbar. The very first thing you'll see is this handy guide that gives you more details about each step in the show building process. Feel free to reference this as needed, or if you'd like, you can disable this window completely by unchecking this box down here at the bottom. Now let's continue on to the wizard. The first step in making a new show is to choose a theme. Themes have two purposes. They help define the look and feel of your show, and they determine which slide styles and transition effects will be used when building your show. As you browse the theme list, the wizard will give you a brief description, tips for using that theme, and show how many effects are included. There are dozens of themes and hundreds of effects built into the wizard. You can also create your own themes or customize the built-in themes to meet your creative needs. When you find one you like, click Continue to apply the theme. Your next stop is the wizard window. Here is where you'll add all of your show content, including your photos, videos, and any title slides that you'd like to have in your show. To add your photos and videos, click the Add Content icon up here at the top of the window. Locate the files on your computer, then click Open. You can also click the Import icon to add content that you've previously uploaded to a variety of online services, such as Facebook and Instagram. Once added, you can rearrange the order of your slides by clicking and dragging, or by selecting a range of slides and clicking the Randomize option. If you'd like to remove content from the wizard, simply select the slides, then click this trash can icon. Now let's add a title slide. Click the Add Title icon, type in some text, then click the OK button at the bottom of the window. If you need to change your text, click on the title slide, then click the Caption icon to update your text. The next step is to add some music. You can add your own music, or choose tracks from the built-in music library. As you add music, each track will appear in the content box. To change the order of your tracks, just click and drag. To remove a track, make a selection, then click the trash can icon. Now let's take a look at a few settings that will define how your show will look when you run the wizard. The energy level determines the speed and intensity of the show. You have two energy level options, Auto and Custom. When you choose Auto, any songs that you add will play completely from start to end, and your show will end at the same time as your music. Choosing Custom gives you more control over the pacing of your show. To change the energy level, just click and drag the slider. By default, the crossfade is set to 2 seconds, but you can change that by simply moving the music crossfade slider. You can set tracks to have no overlap at all, or blend them together by as much as 10 seconds. With all of the content added and options set, click the Continue and Preview button to run the wizard. The wizard will now prepare your show. It will add all of your slides to the slide list, apply effects from your theme, and add your music to the soundtrack bar. If you don't like the results, you can select Run Wizard again, and the wizard will recreate the show for you. If you still aren't satisfied with the results, click the Return to Wizard button and try adjusting your energy level or changing your theme. Once you're happy with the results, 
Click Apply and Exit Wizard. Once the wizard has built your show, you can always continue to add content and customize your show however you'd like using all of the tools available in ProShow. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out part two to learn more about editing and customizing shows using the wizard. And don't forget to visit our blog, follow us on Vimeo, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for even more helpful tips.